Welcome to Glorified Gutsy Gaming. I'm Jake, and today we are unboxing Living Planet. Christoph Bollinger. Ludicoli, I think, maybe, how you say that? Two to four players, ages 14 up. Uh, 30 minutes to play. Art by Bertrand Bonnois. Ismael Irvin. The cupidity of galactic corporations brought them to exploit a new planet. My Silarendre. But as factories are built, cataclysms start to tear apart the corporation's plans. They should beware, for it is said that the planet is alive. Collect and sell resources, construct buildings, explore hostile landscapes, and above all, protect yourself from the planet's wrath. In Living Planet, each player represents a major galactic corporation. To win the game, they will have to explore, construct buildings, harvest, and sell the largest amount of resources before the planet collapses on itself in a cataclysmic ending. Synergy Games. So we've got the story so far. This is the rule book. Turn sequence and effect list on the back. Components. And you got the game objectives, which I meant were you know mentioned on the back. At the end of the game, each player will earn victory points based on how many mega credits they possess and how many buildings and vehicles they control. So these rules are for four players. See the special rules section for games involving less than four players at the end of the booklet. setting up the game, how the game should look. We've got starting player, game length, turn sequence. Shows off the tiles, exploring and moving, example, uh, constructing, trading. And then buying and selling. Control, controlling stock market buildings. And then we've got the free actions. Healing and building. And there's cataclysms. Tornadoes, earthquakes, and geysers. Planet exhaustion. Past the leaderboard. End of game. The game ends when a resource is placed on the number 12 of the planet's exhaustion track. During step 4, when that happens, the players proceed to the final scoring step. Again, we strongly suggest that you play shorter games at first, such as 8 turns for a 2-4 player game, and 9 turns for a 3 player game. That's interesting. Um, and then scoring, each star is one victory point. At the end of the game, players score victory points for the buildings they control and the amount of money they possess behind their screen. Remaining resources do not provide any victory points. You can use the back of the stock market board to count each player's victory points. 
or the score pad if you own it. Reminder, a building is controlled if you have automation chip or an active unit on it. Each factory building is worth two. Each protective building or stock market building is worth one. Spaceports are worth two. Motorized scientists on the map is worth one. Each player also earns one victory point per mega credit they possess. The player with the most VP after the scoring step is the winner. In case of a tie, the player with the most resources wins. If there is still a tie, the player with the most money wins the game. And then there's the last less than four players section. And then some more story. And then I think we have another language, maybe French. Yeah, I think it's French. So more rules. And then we've got punch out boards. That looks like the exhaustion track that we were just talking about. Resources and things. These look like building tiles. Maybe places to build buildings. more of the same looking stuff. Oh, that one fell out. Oops, so did that one. And this one, oh, they're falling out too. All of them are falling out. So we have some wooden meeples in red, blue, green, and yellow. Uh, these kind of look like mushrooms. These look like people also. to see. Hmm. Oh god. Almost evenly shaped gray ones. And last we have some more people. In a slightly different shape. I think these are player boards. These are the screens. I see it. They bend and block the view, but they're kind of like reference cards and screens at the same time. Put some more. Some more people of that same shape from before. Little tiny discs. And then these look like arrows almost. They're all red. And then black, they look like cans. Oop. Little blue lightning bolts. The same people from before. More of the people from before. So a lot of, a lot of people. And four little cubes, oh, five cubes, there's a fifth one here. And that one has some different colors. There's gray, pink, 
a different looking green, black, and a different blue. And then more of the people. Uh, and then there is cards left. Oh, we got dice too. Look at that. They're not in the bag. So these feel wooden. And they're very rounded. And they're all in the different colors that the people are in. The red, blue, green, and yellow. And we've got our only deck of cards. So this one's got a blue, this one's a yellow die, and then red die, and then green, and then we've got the blue lightning symbol. And then we got that gray um, meeple or resource token or whatever it is. And then we've got, oh, it's oil or gas or whatever. It looks like a can of beans, but I guess it's a, kind of is a can. And then, still looks like a mushroom to me. And then gems. On the other side, these are blue. Well, they all have the same back. Until these. So these are the green dye have their own back. And then these are the red dye that have kind of a red mountainous desert look. Well, yellow has more of a real desert look here, like a canyon. And then blue, these are the blue dyes, have kind of a water world looking feel. But that is everything in and on the box. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.